I'm going to demonstrate the dead test ROM, the RAM diagnostic ROM on the Apple II. And this is actually my clone machine from the videos on the main channel. But this works exactly the same on any Apple II or II Plus. This ROM tests the first 48K of ROM, or RAM that is. It's a 2K ROM, so it is, exists inside the F8 ROM on the motherboard. If you have a clone machine, you can use a 2716 EEPROM. If you have an Apple II Plus or an Apple II, it requires a 2316, which is a mask ROM. So you'll need an adapter to use an EEPROM in the motherboard. Or you can take a language card that has a ROM socket and put the ROM on that. That's what I have done in this machine here. So let's turn on the computer here and I will demonstrate how the ROM looks because there seems to be a little bit of confusion sometimes about how it should look when it's working on a, when it's running that is on a working machine. So here we go, let's turn on the computer. Reach around here. First thing you get is testing zero page and then you see character set ROM or um, this status screen here. And now the RAM test actually begins. Now as it's testing here, you're gonna see the four lines of text at the bottom along with graphics mode at the top. And it's gonna run through various patterns as it does the March U test. But you should get a full white screen like this and a full black screen with the at symbols down at the bottom as part of the normal running diagnostic. If it detects any problems, it will immediately, well, actually, no, I don't think it stops right away. I can't remember to be honest. <laughs> I think it does stop. But if it detects any problems at the zero page, you'll get a beep code at the beginning. You won't be able to display a text screen properly without working zero page, but you'll get a beep code. That's all outlined in the readme. But when the system is fully working, you will power onto that status screen with all those characters. You'll see the testing zero page message. And then now it's gonna run through all of this. And you'll see lines like this. There shouldn't be any random dots in there. You might see a little bit of static. That's normal, but you shouldn't see any dots in the static image here. It should just be lines and it should be inverting as it walks through and marches through all the memory, which includes the graphics memory on the system. If you're not seeing graphics screens like this, there might be a problem with either your ROM, the way the image is written to a chip. It may also be a problem with the hardware. You know, there could be all sorts of different issues, but just make sure that you have a, there we go, oh, it's done. And you'll see the status screen, any kind of RAM bits will show up in this chart here. And we explain how that works in the readme. And then it just restarts itself. That is the normal process. Uh, when it had a good result of all the RAM tests, you heard a doo-doo, like a high or a low high beep, and then it just restarts. Now, while it's running, if you try to reset the computer, it'll automatically just go back to the start of the test. So it tests the zero page, and then now it says zero page stack okay. We're running the 1.01 .01 version of the ROM available in the releases section on the GitHub repo. So when you're looking at the GitHub repo, you go over to the uh, right side, there'll be a releases area, and that is where the ROM is available to download, the bin file. You can also download a disk-based version that you can boot if you just wanna test it on a system that's already booting the operating system. You can then get the disk-based version, also under the releases section, put that on a real Apple II disk or a floppy emu or something like that, and then you can actually boot up and uh, have it working. You do need to have a language card in your system though for it to work, or an Apple IIe or a IIc or something like that. But if it's a two or a two plus or a clone, you need a language card for that to work. Anyways, that's how it should look when everything is working properly. If you're seeing anything that's different, like none of those text screens, then you either have a problem with your computer of some kind or you have a ROM that's not written correctly. And that's quite possible with 2716s. They are not easy to make because you need a 25 volt programmer. So when you flash that chip on your programmer, if you don't have a really high quality one, like using a TL-866, flash it like five times in a row because even if it verifies on there, it doesn't actually work on the Apple II. And we've encountered that before. So just keep that in mind. Anyways, there it is. That's the diagnostic ROM, how it looks when it's working on real hardware on the Apple II Plus, that is.